Hey Capricorn Collective, well, welcome to the channel. <laughs> welcome back. Thanks so much for being here. All right, y'all. Let's get some messages for you all. Messages from Spirit. What um, you can expect for the upcoming month. What is the month of August going to look like for the Capricorn Collective? All right, if you have Capricorn placements, this could resonate. Obviously, it's not going to resonate for everyone. Take what's yours, leave what's not. Flip the roads if you need to. Could be past, present, or future energy. I'm picking up on. Speaking of presence, that's where we start with you. All right, it says you're being asked to spend more time in the present moment to stop ruminating about the past or longing for the future. Your life is happening right now. And when you're not present for it, you miss all of its beauty. Okay, I feel very much like your your reading is about you tapping into your inner child. There's something here about you letting go of kind of like I don't want to say responsibility, but don't take life so seriously is what I heard. I heard um a message for you when I was getting your cards out because I don't have time today to go through all the shuffling. So I had to just kind of like shuffle and then pick all the cards for each of the signs. So I've already pre chosen your cards and when i say chosen i don't mean i picked them i cherry picked them i didn't look at them they were face down but whatever the case i got the feeling that some of you are like really overworked maybe really stressed i feel like there's a lot of transformation taking place in your life um we have reflection here it says friendships in your life may come to an end others could blossom and become stronger so i feel like there's a lot going on in your career and in your relationships right now some of you i kind of feel like you're Again, going through a transformation as the transition taking place. You could be changing jobs. You could be moving house. You could be getting rid of certain friends or kind of like reevaluating some of your relationships, your friendships, to even include your family, to even include romantic relationships. Some of you could be seeking a counselor or you could be a counselor. It says, Counselor Archangel Ezreal, you are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. This could be what it is. Some of you may be tired of being a strong friend coming through for everybody, being a shoulder to cry on, lean on, you know, the come up person, the one that helps everybody, lip, up, lips, uplifts everybody. And yeah, look at this, what we have. I just notice empathy is here. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. So you're a really fair, balanced person. I feel like people can depend on you and that can become, it can become toxic. It really can. Spirit is wanting you to tap back into your inner child. You have pleasure, right? This is the number 31. Someone could be 31 years old, but this is the Six of Cups, Scorpio energy. And this is all about you tapping into your imagination, that playfulness inside of you, maybe revisiting some of your old friendships from childhood, going back to your old neighborhood, giving back to your community. This is a card of gifts and generosity as well. Um, yeah, this could also represent like missing someone, someone from your past, maybe coming back into your life, an ex that you never got over, feeling nostalgic, thinking about your good memories, your childhood memories. You could be feeling really nostalgic here lately. It could have something to do with an ancestor, someone who's transitioned. We have star ancestor. It says, follow the voice of your soul. So there's someone, poss possibly a masculine, possibly an Aquarius, who's on the other side, kind of trying to help you to navigate. But this feels like an ancient ancestor because I see the pyramid here okay yeah some of you could be from egypt i don't know or maybe you're just a person or the person that you were connected to either you or them studied like ancient um kemet ancient egyptian as they call it civilizations and things like that somebody could be really into history somebody likes to read here yeah all right something is happening during the autumn equinox for you you're releasing something. There's relationship changes coming, possibly a job change, possibly some shedding some of your old skin here. Like I said, something about you tapping back into your inner child, or you could be doing some work in your old community where you came up with old friends, family members, whatever. I feel like there's a lot of change happening in your relationships and what you don't realize is even if it feels painful right now, it's actually for the better. Okay, we have assistance with X, access number 10 this card says it is necessary to ask for and accept help in order to receive it hmm. and this is giving me the uh the five of pentacles it could involve a taurus you can have taurus placements in your chart or connected to a taurus i do feel like you have been there for other people counselor empathy everything is showing me that you've been showing up for everyone else i feel like you have to know when to ask for help when you need people to show up for you don't be too proud don't be too proud. 
Some of you could be getting married here. We have a marriage coming up. Wedding bells are ringing. That's your love message. All right, let's get some tarot. See what else spirit has for you. Whatever comes out. I'm going to pull three cards, clarify with three more cards, and whatever your messages are, they are. Okay? Could be career. Oh, yes, yeah, career for you. Yep, there's a decision that you have to make. Um, Some of you, you could be counselors. You have the gift of gab. You could be salespeople. Somebody could be starting a podcast here with this Knight of Swords. Libra Aquarius, Gemini energy, and then we have Virgo energy with the Eight of Pentacles. Working very hard. You're mastering something. Some of y'all are training for some kind of upgrading your career. Whatever this change is, is coming in quickly. Some of you have been working a job for eight years or training for something, um, mastering something over the last eight years. Others of you, the past two weeks are really significant or the next two weeks will be really significant here. You can have some kind of... Um, Test coming up, something that you're trying to prepare for. I see you preparing for something, and it has something to do with your career, for sure. Whatever this change is, it's coming in quickly. <laughs> okay, yeah, death card. Definitely some ending, some transformation, some transition. I said that at the very beginning. You're a risk taker. Look at this, a new career for some of you. New car, new home, new relationship, possibly, prosperity. You're manifesting abundance and prosperity. So I feel like whatever you have going on, you're very laser focused on it with this Knight of Wands. You're unstoppable. Nobody can stop you right now. You're feeling really adventurous, courageous, motivated, driven. Yeah, you never know what to expect, right? All right, let's see. Let's get some clarity. What is this Eight of Pentacles? What are you working so hard on? You are working really, really hard, training, mastering something. It's a card of manifestation. Ooh, it's a new job, a new career, Ace of Pentacles. Something to do with your money or something solid, something stable. Whatever this is, is setting you up for the long term. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Yeah, I feel a new job, new car, new home, new relationship. We have marriage here. I think a lot of you this fall, life is going to look beautiful for you. You're going to learn to be in the present moment. Not put so much stress on yourself about being there for other people. And actually learn to be there for yourself and expect other people to be there for you. Yeah, there's a release going on. We have the five of pentacles here. Okay, so this is the thing. Some of you, what you don't realize, if you've been having financial struggles or just feeling kind of like lost and not knowing where you fit in, a lot of you, there is a moment of truth coming. Okay, financial struggles are implied here. Unemployment is implied here. Homelessness, a lot of stress, a lot of um, struggle. This is a card of poverty. This is a card of um, feeling like an outcast, feeling like the whole world is against you. It's me against the world. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of that feeling. It could just simply be that you're blocking everything out because you know you don't want to be in the poor house. You know you have something to work for. You're working very hard. That is what I do see. And a lot of you are great at what you do. Um, but spirit is saying with this knight of swords, don't be too hasty. So don't, don't expect things to come extremely fast that are not meant to come fast. Let things come in their own time, okay? They are coming. The eight of pentacles, though, is a slow energy. It's a diligent energy. It's continuing to work and develop your skills, okay? And master something. You could be an apprentice or um, you yeah, could be working with someone. You could be starting your own business here. Show me what this knight of swords is. This is communication, possibly, or action coming towards you. It could be in any respect um eight of cups hmm. eight of cups is emotional um a lack of fulfillment in the emotional department the cups all about feelings emotions also creativity so this could be a job something you're walking away from that low no longer you know fulfills you satisfies you it's like i'm incomplete this is an incomplete card it's short of the two cards that make up the ten of cups right the two cups i'm sorry they make up the the Ten of Cups. So it's like you may feel okay, content, just a little bit, almost content, but you feel like there's a little bit more. This is like out with the old and with the new. It was fun while it lasts. I definitely feel like this is mostly about your career, but there's also for some of you a new love that could be coming in here, communication about possibly marriage here. What's at the bottom of the deck? We have the Two of Swords again. Yeah, here you go. A lot of you are deciding that you no longer want to be single. You feel uncertain about it now. Hmm. There could be some toxic things ending in your life. We see the, I see the tower. I see the devil and the magician. You have three major arcana back to back. 
Um, so some of you could be ending, like I said, some relationships that are toxic and you're manifesting new relationships that are so much better for you. Um, I want to get a little bit more on this marriage. Let's pull two cards for this marriage. What's going on with this marriage? This could be someone from your past, someone you have a lot of history with. With this pleasure being here, the Six of Cups. Let's see. What is going on with this marriage? Mm, two of Wands, Aries energy. Could be an Aries. Someone you regret letting get away or regrets letting you get away. Could be a Gemini. Could be an Aries. Let's get a little bit more. Oh, that one to be John. Oh, the Ace of Cups. There you go. New love or getting back together with someone that you love a lot. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. These don't have to be their signs. But some of you are thinking, planning for a new relationship. This is a good indication of marriage. Oh, this is beautiful. So some of you can have a water sign or an Aries or a Gemini or a Libra Christ or a Gemini here. Knight of Swords is coming through again. Yeah, that's somebody I feel like, oh, you haven't talked to this person or you've been on a break from this person. Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, possibly for some of you. Um... Something about 10 weeks could be significant. The next month could see a big change happen for you and um, this person. You may reconnect with this person or meet this person you'll go on to marry. Um, hmm. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if you don't hear from this person in the next two days or the previous two days you could have talked to this person. Whoever this person is, they're coming through as someone you've talked to recently or met recently. There are going to be big changes coming for you and this person. This is a serious commitment coming in, Capricorn. Beautiful. So some of you, what's happening here is you're moving from this Eight of Cups, maybe in a love situation or just in, in life in general, right? You're moving away from this and you're starting to speak your mind. You're starting to say what you need from people, what you want and being okay with them saying no or being okay with them helping you and letting that be just what it is, right? But the fact that you have this Ace of Cups coming out with this... Um, Eight of Cups lets me know right here. Now we're up to nine cups, right? This is contentment. This is like your, your ideal person. This is your wish fulfillment. So some of you, there's a wish being granted here. This is success. Even if you're single, you're not looking for a relationship, which a lot of you will end up in a relationship. But for those of you who are not, you'll be content by yourself. A lot of contentment is coming through here. I do feel like it's someone you definitely feel like you missed an opportunity with, either because you did something to ruin it or they did, but you two never quite got over each other. Look what's under that, y'all. Could be a Taurus. And look what's under that. Now we get the Two of Cups. And look what's under that, y'all. We get the family. I told you somebody is communicating with you. Look. Eight of Wands. This person is racing towards you. Communication has already come in. It was coming in really quickly. Something about 10 years is significant. Um, yeah, but there's this is the Hierophant and the Two of Cups. Two marriage cards. Sandwiched between this regret and this family dynamic. Some of you are getting together. You're bridging your families. You're going to be like a, um, a blended family. You want to meet each other's families and parents and things like that. Now, it's time to be serious. This is a very serious commitment. It's a part of your spiritual um, elevation as well. Expect the unexpected is what I will tell you with this Eight of Wands. Expect the unexpected. You got the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands came out too. So expect major, major positive changes, especially by fall. Um, autumn equinox. I'm not very good at remember, remembering exactly when that is. I think it's, it's between... Um, Virgo and Libra season. I think it's September the 21st or somewhere somewhere in there. So that time frame is going to be really significant for you. Extremely significant for you, all right? All right, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. Those are your messages. Peace.